<laughs> welcome to my channel if you're new welcome so we're getting straight into things I got my peel base on if you want to see how I do my extensions it'll be in the cards and we're gonna be doing a mani with some of the colors from my sparkling co sub bag yay and I'm gonna be using yes you saw it right a gel and a dip I know very exciting so the gel I'm going to be using is under my spell and the dip is hashtag pretty wicked. I'm also going to be using winter white from iGel because this color is a perfect base and the gel was a little bit jelly looking on its own. I tried it on like a clear swatch and it just was a little bit too jelly so I decided to put winter white as a base instead of just doing clear and as you'll see at the end it works out perfectly i'm going to be using my double dip liquids today and we're going to do two dips of winter white and then i will do my regular dip application for the hashtag um, oh my goodness, pretty wicked. <laughs> I forgot the name of it already, you guys. Yeah, hashtag pretty wicked. Sorry about that. And then after that, and after I file and buff, I will do the gel application. I'm doing the dips and then filing them before I do my gel because, of course, I want like a smooth surface before I apply my gel. I don't want there to be any crazy lumps and bumps because I'm not gonna file the gel, so I will file beforehand. And as I said, I'm doing two dips of winter white and then I will go ahead with hashtag pretty wicked and we'll go from there. And obviously you guys can see the really bad red mark on my pointer finger. It looks so much worse than it is. I know I was nipping off a hangnail from my cuticle while watching a YouTube video. If that doesn't explain what I did, <laughs> I don't know what will. So yeah, guys, when you're doing anything with your nails, especially with sharp objects, make sure you pay attention to what you're doing. Don't watch YouTube videos like me. Yeah, I'm a ding dong. I know. It looks so much worse than it is because it's like really red um, because I aggravated it, but it's just one little scab part there. It's just a little one. But when I was removing my dip powder with my peel base, I kind of jabbed it with my, um, my cuticle pusher. That's why it looks so irritated. And then I nipped it with cuticle nippers. So, yeah, naturally, it um, it looks pretty bad. It doesn't hurt at all, but it looks terrible. So I just wanted to address that now because I've been staring at it the whole video, so I know you guys will too. <laughs> and, um, oh, before I forget, I will probably say it again at the end, but... The mani on my left hand is a mani I did with the color semicolon from Double Dipped, not Double Dip, Double Dipped, and um, the proceeds from that dip go to a nonprofit organization called Hey Ugly, and it is an organization for anti-bullying, and I wanted to do a mani with this. In support of that and I did buy the dip powder um, I did film it but anti-bullying month is in October and I did not get the video up 
before then, obviously, because today is the 31st and my Halloween Manny is going up. So let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see that video. I will probably upload it anyways, so I hope you want to see it. I am obsessed with that Manny, and I really would love for you guys to see it. And um, I would be leaving the link for Hey Ugly in the description box so you guys could learn a little bit more about that. Because even though anti-bullying um, awareness is in October, anti-bullying awareness needs to be all year round. And um, Pretty, uh, pretty Ugly, oh my goodness. Hey Ugly is a nonprofit organization that helps the bullying cause all year round. So I would love to upload that video for you guys. If you guys would like to see it, I can get it up either tomorrow on Sunday or Monday. So just let me know in the comments below. And I'm going to stop talking for a few minutes because I've been talking for six minutes straight. <laughs> and I'll let you guys just kind of watch for a few minutes. Um, before I let you go though, look at how gorgeous that dip is. There is so much life to this dip. I can't even, it's so beautiful. But um, I did clear cap my winter white and I did activate it already because there's a lot going on in this Pretty Wicked dip and there's a lot of little flaky foily pieces. So it is messy and I did not want it to get in the white nails, even though I'm gonna be painting over it anyways. So this is beautiful. I'm gonna get, I'm going to do two full dips and I will get um, full coverage with those two dips and I will clear cap these as well. So, like I said, I'm going to let you guys watch, and I will be back.
Alrighty, I am back. I filed shaped and buff off camera. Now it is time to apply under my spell to my ring and middle finger. Now I'm going to do two layers of this, two coats. Um, I'm not going to use a gel base coat though. I'm using a buffer here real quick to make sure that I don't have any weird lumps from e-filing. But if you are going to apply a gel polish on top of your dip powder, I highly recommend using a gel base coat if you want your mani to last. If you don't, you risk the chance of peeling and nobody likes that. So I'm going to do two coats of this and then I'm going to cure in between those coats for 60 seconds. And when I'm done doing that, I'm going to come back and we're going to apply a couple of water decals. I know I use water decals a lot. They're my favorite because I have no artistic ability and they're super easy to do. I love water decals. <laughs> so um, in a minute, it's going to look like I'm doing a second coat without curing, but really I'm just kind of evening out the gel on my middle finger. You'll see what I'm talking about when I get there, but I'm going to come back when it is time for decals. I will let you watch me finish applying the gel. And remember, I'm curing in between coats for 60 seconds. And I think that's it. <laughs> Make sure you cure in between coats. It's very important. I will be back. Okay, the second coat of Under My Spell is all done, and now we're going to go in with these adorable little water decals. There are these little jack-o'-lantern, wow, okay, I can talk, jack-o'-lantern, <laughs> these little jack-o'-lantern faces, I love them, they are so stinking cute. And of course, I'm going to use my uh, clear jelly stamper to apply them. I just use a piece of tape to make sure that there is no little fuzzies or anything on there. I'm going to use these two at the top here. I thought these were cute. And I liked how 
they looked smiley but evil at the same time <laughs> and um, I'm just cutting as close to the decal as I can um, these are ones that I ordered off of Etsy so if you don't cut super close to the decal um, there will be like a clear outer layer and we don't like that it leaves wrinkles so just cut as close to the decal as you can I am applying some water with a um, little dropper on just a little bag that the decals came in while I wait for that one to separate from the paper I'm going to cut out this other one I am not going to be using a gel base coat today like I normally do because the gel polish does have a very slight tacky layer um, not as tacky like the inhibition layer is not as tacky as some gel polishes I've used but it's enough that the decal adhered beautifully without needing to add a gel base coat so I was pretty excited about that and I'm gonna get that other decal in there because the other one is about to separate so while I apply it the other one can begin to separate I'm just removing it with my tweezers. I dab off the water. I find where on the nail I want it. And it's a little bit to the left right now. I do kind of pull it over to the right a little bit. Um, you'll see it in pictures at the end. I didn't really notice how far to the left it was until after I was already done. So again, I pick up that decal. I dab off the water, find where on the nail I want to place it, and that's it easy peasy and you saw how beautifully it stuck to that nail so that was pretty awesome I liked not having to apply a gel base coat <laughs> and now I'm gonna go in with my eye gel beauty no cleanse top coat and I already pulled that middle finger decal over to the right a little bit I did do that off camera I noticed it and I just wanted to kind of pull it over a little bit. I didn't want to take up a bunch of time on the video. You see me wiping the edges of my nail because I don't want to lose my very beautiful almond shape. So I just kind of wipe off the edges a little bit because I'm sure you guys have noticed after so many layers of gel, it can kind of bubble out the edges of your nail and then it doesn't look as crisp and clean as it did before so what I do is I just wipe the edges of the nail just a little bit so that way it keeps its shape um, I believe I do it again with this nail oh maybe not it looked pretty good so I'm going to clear clear coat I'm going to top coat. <laughs> I can't talk today, you guys. Got my voice back and I forgot how to talk. So I am top coating all of my nails and then I will cure this for 60 seconds. And I am so obsessed with how these two colors look together. I am absolutely in love with this Manny. I don't usually lean towards purples but I will give credit to Stacy my best friend from wine and dip powder nails for this one because I was going to go in with love at first bite and vampire s I believe it's called the red gel polish and then the black dip powder with the red flakes in it um, but Stacy kind of pushed me to do the purple one because I've never done a purple Manny on my channel and I am so glad she did because I am in love and just so you guys know Stacy's information is always left down in my description box I don't ever take it out so her information is always down in the description box if you're ever looking for her Instagram or her YouTube it is down there so I cured that for 60 seconds and I let them cool and oh my goodness, look at this gel polish, you guys. And with the dip, oh, oh, I'm so glad Stacy 
pushed me to do the purple. I am so excited. And of course, I'm going to wrap this mani up with my Candy Skin Care Cuticle Oil. I am using um, Pumpkin Marshmallow Latte from her Fall Trio. I believe today is the last day you can get this trio, so hurry up and go get it. And thank you so much, Stacy, for pushing me to do this purple mani. I am obsessed, in love. I love it, love it, love it, love it. I am seriously so obsessed with this manicure. I love it, you guys. Love it. <laughs> Can you tell I love it? Can you tell? <laughs> so if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Comment below. Tell me what you think. And here I am mentioning this Manny on my left hand again. Um, if you guys want to see that video, let me know. I will probably upload it anyways, like I said, because I am so obsessed. But comment below. Let me know what you guys think. And I love you so much. And I will see you next time. Bye.